All right. Hey, hey friends. Happy Monday. Here we are. Monday. All right. So it's Monday. We have some work to do. Um, it's been a while since we've done a letter of the week. Today's the day we get back on track, friends. Um, so uh, the last letter of the week that we did um, in school was the letter Q. So we are working on the letter R today. Um, all right, so just like always, we need to talk about um, the uppercase and lowercase uh, letter. What do you notice about it? Um, do they look the same? Do they look different? Um, take a minute to, to look at it. What do you recognize? Um, what do you observe? What do you notice? Um, I notice, and I think you might too, that the uppercase R and the lowercase R are totally different, right? They are. Um, they are. <laughs> uh, they are different. Some um, uppercase and lowercase letters um, look very similar. These definitely don't. They very much look different. So let's write the letter R. All right. Are you, oh, hey, that's my cat Munch. M is for Munch. Hey, buddy. He wants to join our, our alpha tails. That's cool. All right, the letter R. Here we go. Uppercase. Just straight line down. You guys see that okay? And then it's got a half circle on the side, on the right side, R is for right, and then it has um, a little diagonal line. That's an uppercase R. Lowercase R, straight line down with that little bump on the side. That's that, easy peasy. So the letter R. Now, any thoughts on what the sound maybe that the letter R makes? Maybe we'll look at the cover here to get some ideas. I see a rabbit and a radish. I think you might know it definitely makes the rrr sound. Um, and just like a whole bunch of other letters make, um, or they can make different sounds, especially those vowels, they can be tricky. Um, R basically just makes the rrr sound, okay? So there's that. All right, so let's get to it. Shall we read? Rosie's, excuse me, sorry, Rosie Rabbit's Radish. All right, so your job right now is to listen for our words. Stay over there, please. Kellen's here. <laughs> Can I say hi? All right, so uh, Rosie Rabbit's Radish. So listen very carefully for our words and then we will make a word list. All right, here we go. Rosie Rabbit has a radish. Rosie takes very good care of her radish. She rakes the ground around it. She removes rocks. So I hear rakes, removes, rocks. Rosie rakes and rakes. Even in the rain, there's another R word, rain. She does not rest. Come for a ride, says Rick Rooster. Do you hear those R words? Rick Rooster. Let's roller skate, says Rita Raccoon. But Rosie would rather take care of her radish. At night, Rosie sits in her rocking chair. She reads to her radish and plays the radio. R is for radio and reading. The radish grows and grows and soon the radish is ripe. That's a really good R word, ripe. That means that it's ready to eat. It's ready to be picked. Rosie ties a rope around the radish. Rick and Rita help her pull the radish root. R is for root. What a rare radish. It is red and round and really big. So many R words. 
Rick and Rita help Rosie roll the radish down the road. Roll and road. What will Rosie do with her radish? That is a fantastic question. What might she do with that radish? She will take it to the fair and win a blue ribbon. R is for ribbon. There it is up there. Number one. Awesome. All right, I'm going to show you this picture too to give you some hints of some words that may start with the letter R. Oh, I see a lot of things. Kellen's giving you hints. Shh, Kellen. <laughs> All right, so are you ready for the R poem? R is for rabbit, radish, and rose. R is for ribbon and a rooster that crows. Crow. He didn't get it. R is for run, rope, rock, and red. The color red. R is for raindrops that fall on your head. Oh, he got it that time. Hooray for R, big and small, the most remarkable letter of all. Aww. Excellent. All right, friends. So that was Alpha Tales. I'm going to stop the video because this is like a million minutes long. Um, and I'm going to post another video of our um, word list. Kellen and I are going to come up with a word list. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He's very excited. We're going to come up with a word list, and then um, we will uh, we'll post it, um, and then you guys can maybe come up with your own. All right? So stay tuned. See you soon. Can I, can I